fight and watch hentai all the time with Senpai. My soul is fermented by a sucky bitch Call assist, pants who dripping from the way I spit Hello, it is I, Krim the Snake, and this is another Dead Dog in the Gaming episode. Last episode, we were playing the game, and we had some audio difficulties. But with me is also my brother, Timbled. Hello. So yeah, hopefully the game won't be a bitch. And there was no game audio, and I realized that, but and you know what? That's why I just put some other audios in, like Classic Zelda. Or, hey, listen, listen here, buckaroo. Now, let's get back at it, shall we? Last time we left off is at the Omen O Shrine. All right, you then. Should do. Brother, can you hear me? You can't hear me. Brother, can you hear me? Yes, Alright, you can hear me now. Alright, uh, so let's do this. I woke up at like one in the afternoon. Yeah, I just woke up out of nowhere in the afternoon. Hello. For a shrine, I think this is the magnetism one. Mm -hmm. To who sets foot in the shrine? I am um, and I can't read fast. Now, to be honest, I've been looking for a good capture card for years, actually, since 2014 when I first started YouTubing, and I finally got one, and one of the very first games I wanted to do, well, originally was Twilight Princess, but I no longer have a Wii U anymore, so we're going to do Breath of the Wild, because why not? But it's a good game, and besides, we're riding around, the, now we don't know how long till then, but we're also getting a Breath of the Wild uh, 2, the sequel. So that should be fun. So yeah, and you've seen lots of users play this, so... I, I, so, it's basically what I go with when it, that's the type of thing going on. I might skip some scenes or other things to keep the game going. And going faster. So we can get to other Let's Play on the Nintendo Switch. Like Pokemon Sword and Shield, for example. Audio problem, you guys in the comments let us know and we'll sort out the issue. Right. Oh, looks like we got a little tiny guardian here. When you forget how to dodge. I haven't played this game forever, so. I thought I could dodge it in time. Up and... Oh, is that just always there? I never. It's good thing I'm replaying this for like the fifth time, I believe. I've beaten this game four times, so this will be probably my fifth time beating it. Alright, let me try getting that chest, because I didn't realize that was there, to be honest. Uh, I might have to have. Um, like a freeze time or something. I think you might be needing some of those items. Oh no. Yeah, I know this opens. Um... Must be a way of. Get... Oh wait. Doi. There we go. Try to as well. And drop you on. 
So we're not going to use a bow a lot because I want to save my arrows because you can get guardian arrows with those if you use the guardian parts. First ones are done. We need to do three more in order to get the paraglider. Fuck. Stop. If I do sound a little ear rapey, then again, I still need to get a PC microphone, not a gaming microphone. So, my bad viewers. For when this video comes out. I might get the Yeti Blackout. The Yeti is pretty much a good one sometimes. Yeah, um, they're gonna restart, restock soon, so I might get the Yeti Blackout. Yeah. Uh, though, then again, I have to save money because I need enough money to get a taxi, to get to your house, or someone uh, picking me up because I'm going alone. On the plane. Uh, uh, I'll let my dad know about it, and we'll see. Ah, I did mean, you know? You, I, I think, like, after you get off the airport, and what, in Texas, right? That was, like, next month. It's not too far, though. Right. Well, first we have to figure out which airport I'm landing in. Yeah, we just gotta make sure which airport you are. If you actually are nearby it, then I think it's like recommended as a taxi or a cab. How much like are there? How much is doing a cab? If you're this far, I can guarantee it, um, I guess we'll just drive our way all the way down. Though if I do have to do a cab, how much do I have to pay if i never done cab before? Uh, let me check. Sometimes for the uh, drive charge, when you pay the uh, taxi or cab, I think it's always like two point sixty. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's what it says on here. I, I always thought it was like, going to be a little bit expensive. And they're a lot more different here than taxes, so yeah. Right. Because I think they have like the lowest amount, so it's a lot more different. Because in New York, I think they just cost a lot, but here in Texas, they just cost the lowest. Alright. We could do that, but I can. I think I can actually skip that and just go ahead and do the shrines because I already know where they are. Indeed. That's only if like this was like a first time playing the game. So, because you can scope out with this little thing and put pings. Like for example, for this tower over there, I could just click um, place pen, and it will pen it right there. So Thanksgiving starts in November 26th, so you might be arriving somewhere, uh, probably later in the 16th or the 18th, I just ain't very sure. Depending on how much my dad can gather money for me to get there. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I might save money instead of just getting one for the sale. So, like, once I got the job at Home Depot or whatever, um, I'll just save money. I got you. Yeah, and, um, honestly, when I look back at 2014, I don't think I've ever would have gotten as far as a YouTuber without having the help of friends and, like, you and stuff as a YouTuber. Back then, I was cringy as fuck. I remember how bad my mic was. It was worse than this, actually. So when I screened playing FNAF 4 when it came out... It, it, people, I got so many hate uh, comments, and I was like, eh, I wasn't upset at it, because it, it, they, they were being honest, so. Well, that's true. I mean, even I have to admit, that mic, oh, it was bad, man. I don't remember what headset I was using, but I know it was really bad. Yeah, some microphones can actually make a terrible quality of the audio. Right. It happens sometimes. Yeah, I didn't think to use my the newest headset I got. The last video that we did on this game, I was using my Razer headset. Because for some reason, in my dumb brain, thought, well, both are Razer products. What's the difference? What's is it gonna be bad quality still? <laughs> yep. I thought it would be better, but nah, it's still bad. Don't mess with it. Razer does a pretty good job. I thought they only did good with mouses, but this capture card's uh, pretty damn good. Yeah. They make it really good on, um, like, quality of the videos. Right. Yeah. There's a chest I'm trying to get, because I remember I got all, I have the whole DLC part one and two. For example, this is a DLC chest so that you get the Nintendo Switch shirt. Nice. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you can only get that if you have the first DLC, I think. Not sure. Well, maybe it was also a pre order thing. I forget. I think it was a pre order thing. And then later they decided to add it with the DLC. Since Witcher Prime 4 will be coming out next year, we just don't know when. Oh, it's definitely a good thing I got this capture card then, because you know I'm going to be playing that shit. Even uh, though I haven't played a lot no of the trilogy. No joke at all, I'll definitely be playing Witcher Prime 4 a lot, because I wanted to see what the new story is before they, uh... It's before Witcher Prime 3 story was left off. And then after that, it was still the continuing story. So is it a prequel sequel or just a sequel? I think it has to be a sequel, but in a more different way. I hope they, if they are going to bring back Dark, um, uh, Samus, I wonder if they're going to use the Smash Bros. design, is my question. Knows, but if you ever beat Mortar Prime 3, you will understand more of the story. What, does it explain why Samus looks like that in Smash Bros.? Um, because I don't know if they're gonna release a tri the trilogy all over again for the Switch, and I don't feel like getting a Wii U again, you know? Oh no, the trilogy's been on the Wii, but they're only gonna put the trilogy as an HD version of it for the Switch only. Yeah, that's what I mean. If they were to do an HD or something, um, I don't know if they're gonna put that for the Switch. If not, I might just rebuy. I might rebuy the Wii U again. Yeah, but they're only focused on Mortar Prime 4 though, so that they're, they're really focused on that. Right. They probably will do the trilogy uh, after they're done with Metro Prime 4. Because it's still the continuing story where it was left off of Prime 3. Right. Though, um. Yeah, because like some games where they have to focus on the sequel more, they sometimes release the trilogies of the game before in an HD edition. 
Fuck. I did it though. That's good. But here's the thing though. Some people did point out that Dark Samus ever returns in Prime 4, but I just don't know if it is, because on my opinion, um, I don't. I think you haven't beat Prime 3, so I don't feel like spoiling it to you. Right. Unless you, like, once you beat Prime 3, then you'll get to know the story more. Yeah, because back when I got had the Wii, I don't think I had a lot of fun as much as I do now with the games. Mostly because the controls were hard to use. That's true, but you still have the Wii, right? No, I don't even have the Wii U anymore. Uh, or the original Nintendo Wii, probably not. Yeah. I, I have that at my house, so I still have the original into the way. Right. I so, like, like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the, what you call it? It's, I, I might have to use a Wii U edition to play the trilogy, if I want to do gameplay for it. Uh, that's true. Because the, Wii, the regular Wii, I don't think, has an HDMI cord, does it? Uh, you can. I mean, I've seen a video where, uh, you know, PewDiePie, there is a, uh, I think there is a thing where he actually hooks something into his computer. Oh, uh, then I would have to buy more equipment for the computer then. I think he's got different equipment, so it's like an easier one. I think they cost like a lower money box for it. That's, that sounds good. Because it's been there like years ago, so right. Somewhere right. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, I've seen PewDiePie plays uh, the Garage on the Wii and the Wii Calling. Because like those two were like really good horror games, like back in the day. Oh, uh, you know what I used to play on the Wii? Mm. Um. Resident Evil 4. Dude, Resident Evil 4 is a really good classic game. Really fun. Yeah, I heard they're... Are they gonna do the HD again? I heard rumors about that. Uh, they say they're supposed to be, because, I mean, they already put the remake for Resident Evil 2 and 3. But so, this would be, like, what, yeah. the second? The second time they do it? Because they have one for the PS4, right? But it's the classic one. So I think they're supposed to be putting it in, um... Actually, no, Resident Evil 4 is already on there, though. Yeah, that's what I said, but I don't think it's... I think it's just a classic edition still, not the actual new one. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I think they will be remastering it at some point. We just ain't very sure. But that's why they were... Oh, it's called. That's why they're working on Resident Evil 8. Because I think they're just focused on that more. Yeah, Resident Evil Village is also what it's called. Though they're treating it as an actual full-on sequel. Yeah, it's still like part of the story where Resident Evil 7 was left off. Right. right. Monster Prime 4, I like to see the old classic enemies as a remastered version, and you know who I want? What? Craig. Craig? He used to be like one of those uh, popular classic characters in Monster Zero Mission, and the old classics. I don't think I played those ones. Uh, you never played those ones yet? Dude, I have the, uh, the Nintendo the DS somewhere, but I have the old games of it. Yeah, I only have my Nintendo 2DS XL. Oh, you have that? Yeah. That's nice. I was a big collector on the DSs back then, but not anymore. Heck, I, I used to, I used to have the Pokemon X and Y 3DS edition. The one of the collectibles I didn't get, which I'm pretty sad about, was The Legend of Zelda 3DS's. Uh, I see. Yeah. I remember when I, 
when I first bought, bought my own thing, the first thing I ever got working hard for money was a DSI. DSI. That's interesting. A DSI, you said? Yeah, a DSI. I oh, know it was a DSI Excel. I remember now. Uh, it's one of those. Yeah. Was it like the medium ones? Like the smaller ones or just the big ones? Uh, DSI and DSI Excel were the first DSs to have a camera. Oh, yeah, the built-in camera one. Yeah, basically the the old man's uh, 3DS. Well, 3DSs and 3DS Excels, I never really liked the 3D functions. They were never, you know, good. So like when my 3DS six uh like Pokemon X and Y 3DS XL broke, I didn't feel like getting another one, so I just went up and got a 2DS a 2DS XL because you know the 3D there's no point in getting a, a 3D version because the 3D the 3D effects don't work at all pretty much, and it was cheaper to get a 2DS XL. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Wasn't there like a setting where you can use the old classic Zelda functions? I believe so. Yeah, the, I, 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 I never used it, but it was. I thought that was pretty cool. That how you can actually use your B button, which is your classic Zelda sword swing. It's just like the Nintendo controller back in the old days. Yeah, like which I thought was classic and uh, pretty cool that they put that there. I almost forgot, um, I know they remastered the, uh, Luigi's Mansion. They did? The original first one. Yeah, but it's only on the Nintendo DS, so. Oh, speaking of remaster, well, and also new games, um, so, you know, you know the how the, the company that makes Zelda games are always working on two Zeldas? Uh, Breath of the Wild 2, and the other game is actually a prequel to Breath of the Wild. I saw the trailer, and I can tell that they're like a prequel to it. Yeah, though they're using it, they're gonna use the Hyrule Warriors um, version of the prequel. So it's Hyrule Warriors, but it's only gonna be a Breath of the Wild prequel. I see. So, uh, so you basically get to play the Guardians, which everybody wished for, to be honest, to be able to play the Guardians, the other five. Which I thought was cool, so I think I, I might get it to be honest. I always lo I always wanted to know how how would you fight as other characters from the Zelda games? Sure, we explored that in what Hyrule Warriors itself, but I'm talking about like as Mifa, Daruk, uh, Ravlo. I forgot to say his name. Um, I forgot the Gerudo lady's name, and that's called. I forgot. I gotta fucking get stuff for that. Yeah, that's kind of true. Just defeat this guy, take the Traveler's Bow, you know, beat your skull in. I used to play like every Legend Zelda game, it's like the old ones. Red. I didn't I like the play, way, uh, I didn't like Hyrule Warriors introducing the way of Dark Link. Oh yeah, that's true. The way I look at Dark Link, so you know how the Master Sword uh, it, it can only be a hold by someone of pure heart. Since having the Triforce of Courage is like a bypass, what would happen if all of the evilness in Link, if he had any, were to somehow manifest into our darker being? Wouldn't that just be Dark Link? That's a really good question, point. That was a theory I had back in 2014 when I made Zelda theory videos. Dark Link being all the all the darkness of all the negative feelings, mm -hmm. uh, that came out of Link. Cause uh, remember, the only reason he was able to wield it really is not just him being chosen one, but also because he had the Triforce of Courage. That's though, awesome. though in Breath of the Wild, it's not so much. Breath of the Wild, I like the way of pulling a sword. That it doesn't just take. 
It doesn't just take it being pure of heart, it also takes the will to sacrifice oneself. That's why I think they use the... Um, that's why I like how... So you know how when you lose health, and the... The, the Deku Tree uh, tells you to stop, otherwise you would have died? I think there's a lesson in that. A hidden lesson, that... It's not just having a pure pure will to be a hero and being kind. I think it's the lesson changed now. It used to be, oh, to be well to use the Master Sword, you have to be pure of heart. The lesson's changed in Breath of the Wild. Now it's, you have to be willing to sacrifice yourself for the greater good. So the rules of wielding the Master Sword has changed, and I think that has to do with, uh, me, uh not Mitha, uh, Phi waking up again. Which should be impossible, because even Phi herself back in Skyward Sword said, I'll be in a deep slonger, no longer able to wake up or talk again. Yet, when Link died, the sword glowed and Zelda was talking to it. We think that was Phi talking. To Zelda to put Link in the Resurrection Zone area. That's what happened, and that's what I liked. Phi once again awaken, but what does that mean? There's more to it to Phi's awakening. The only reason, there's only one reason in my head that I can think of to why she would awaken again Demise. Because remember, who set up the whole curse? That's right, Demise, not Ganondorf, Demise. Ganondorf is just a reincarnation of Demise. Remember that, you Zelda fans that are learning. Yeah, so, and so, that now that we know Fi's awake, we think Demise is probably going to come back, or we're going to get a Ganon that's going to look similar to Demise. And we know that for a fact, well, we cite actually just a theory right now that there is a Ganon that Link in previous reincarnations didn't kill, but was presumed, or sorry, we know there's a Ganon that wasn't sealed, but was presumed dead, and that was the uh, Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Remember, he wasn't sealed, he was just stabbed with the heart for the second time. And and another clue to why we think that Gandor, which was the decaying Ganon body that we saw, why we think it's Gandor for Twilight Princess and alive, clearly, is because, one, the pan is on the same spot where he was stabbed by Link the second time. Two, um, his uh, amulet on his head is the same exact one, but looks older, that Gandor back in Twilight Princess was wearing. The, I think there's another evidence we didn't think of because we don't have any evidence to support it. But I think where the hand and how it's underneath the castle, I think the castle was built on top of Ganon's body. So this world that, as we know it is based sometime after Twilight Princess. That's my theory. That this would be based right, not right after, but at least a couple years after Twilight Princess. Who's this? Oh, hey, Fanta. What? Oh, shit, dude, he's got the new computer! So, dear fans who are watching, who, when this video comes out, if you're asking, who the fuck is this mystery dude other than my brother? Well, it's Fanta himself. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna slap you. 
So yeah, so the fan, uh, you're not the only one I got something new because I got a gaming caption card. That's how I'm playing this Zelda game right now. I'm recording it. Nice. Let me you fucking fucking finally play Genshin Impact. All the games. I'll be able to handle more worlds. Finally. Uh, you sound so ear <laughs> I know. That's how fucking excited I should be. That 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 is true, Chief. That is very true. Ah fuck! I dropped him off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we should be able to do. That's a headshot. Yeah. I killed a bird. Fucking this. No. I guarantee the viewers that when they want get this when this video comes out gonna be asking many questions. No, they can't see your face. They can only see the game. But they're gonna be asking, why is he asking for a knife? No, I'm opening my fucking goddamn box. I know. I know you are. It's just a joke, you know. Lol. I mean, he, he, he just went over to the, uh, to the Seven Deadly Sons. Ah, uh, I see. He was opening the, uh, the Pavlon Gaming Mid Tower desktop that he got. Ah, uh, I see. Is that even good, though? That's a good question. I don't know. I really don't know if it's a good PC, but that's just not my opinion. If it is a good PC, then that makes sense. Right. Just climbing on top of this mountain. Alright. 
ya. Oh yeah, speaking of that, you gotta show me how to do those setups though, on your OBS. <laughs> oh yeah, don't die. Yeah, because I gotta like, learn some stuff. I'm gonna have to install it in, it's right there in my, uh, my documents that I forgot to install it in. Ah, uh, I see. Just rest a little bit and then go up again. All right, and go up one more time. Alright. And there it is. Alright, doing this one next. The stasis one. Perfection. Now that's what I call perfection. Yeah, one more room for that, and then I'm gonna go grab this. Oh, like a boss. And then we just have one more to do. Oh, that's a goodie. That's a good man. That's a goal. Let's go up here.
Alright, go up here. Hey. Alright, now I just gotta deal with those people cleanse. Now oh, there we go. Yeah, that gives me a devil may cry vibe when you're doing those easy attacks. There we go. He got knocked off to the cellar edge of the uh, mountain. I know. He oh. got fucking old. here Get faster timing by going on these rocks.
Ooh. Just slide a little bit that way. That way. Run off the mountain, snowboard a little bit. Doing the radio. Da, 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 da. Finally, the final shrine. All right, now we just gotta be like, a like a boss. Have a little fancy fight with this motherfucker. I forgot that my X is the jump. And an attack. Oh, I got boss. Alright, I'll uh, plant this here. Go up here, go up here, and get this chest. Traveler Sphere. Full of items. There you go. Here. Turn. And pretty much finished. <sighs> Now we're gonna have the man come.
but hey, but listen, man, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope my audio is a little better, and yes, this will have a Flamora watermark, sadly. Yeah. Bye.